Hey survivors, in this quick guide we'll show you how to increase your FPS in 7 days to die. So, this is also, you know, really dependent on what type of computer you have and the specs. But, um, we can show you a few things. Let's go over the options real quick. As you can see, my game is looking pretty right now, but everything is cranked. At the sweet tune of 76 FPS, so, a few big offenders right now. Shadow quality takes up maybe double the amount of FPS that you would receive once you turn it off. Reflection, they're very big. Mesh distance, which is uh, how far things are rendering out when you're outside, especially when you're around trees. And reflections, again, SS reflections, that is. So let's go uh, around the room real quick. I mean, you, you could turn on FSR Ultra Performance immediately get back a lot of frames but look at the smoothing just looks not good you use these as like a last resort you can go down to quality ultra quality better playable frame times are kind of all over the place obviously during a horde night this would probably be very hectic but in this room, I have a lot of lights that I put down on purpose because they do drain FPS when you're using torches and they're bouncing off the walls. So let's go over here. Again, shadow distance, shadow call. We're just gonna just turn it off for an example. 95 FPS. Look at that jump. Immediately doubled my FPS. Turn off FSR, the right by the temporal. Small hit. Now controlling the sharpness, look at that. Significantly better. Let's go back in there again. Let's change our reflection quality, which is big in this current environment. Reflection quality ultra plus, or yeah, just gonna drop it down, take it all the way off. 178, 180 ish, roughly. 200 small boost not crazy it's something though now let's get the space screen reflection turn that off sun chest will stay on saao can stay on it's personal preference really 240 fps so that's like a 40 fps jump just turn off that motion blurs off Object quality, grassy tail. I'm in a snow biome, so there's not much of that. Everything else is pretty optional. You can come over to texture quality, maybe go down a quarter if you really want to. Give me a quick refresh. Kind of impact my FPS, not that much. Texture filter, drop down the medium. Roughly the same. So you can see the biggest offenders are already turned off. So at that point, it's down to what you would like to see inside the game. So hopefully that helps you out. That's one way to increase your FPS in seven days to die. If you found this tutorial helpful, check out our full tutorial library for more tips and tricks. And when you're ready to build your own world, kingplayers.com has your back with reliable, easy to use servers, perfect for you and survivors like you. Hit the like and subscribe and let us know what you want to see next.